What's the first thing you think of when I say the word technology? Things like phones, computers, and smart appliances might pop up. Maybe it's something completely different created years ago. Regardless of what innovation you're imagining, it's fair to say it's impacted your life in some way or another. Why else would you be thinking of it? Two years ago for me, the word technology was given a different meaning that would forever change the way I lived my life. My eyes were opened to the extraordinary world of robotics. I participate in the first tech challenge program at our high school. First means for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. It was originally created by Dean Kamen, the inventor of the Segway, and Dr. Woody Flowers, engineering professor at MIT. Every year, a new game is released, and it is entirely up to the students to design, program, and make their vision a reality. No, they don't fight. That's what BattleBots is for. Nevertheless, there is still a magic to these machines. People ask me why I do robotics. Well, there's the obvious answer of why wouldn't you want to build a robot? I mean, haven't we all hoped to see this living, talking android? For me, however, it's more than the nuts and bolts, which is why I am continued to be drawn in by its strong magnetic field. Something prevents me from leaving both the program and my team, the RoboMiners. Over the past two years, I have gained not only engineering expertise, but a number of life skills that I can use down the road. This program has tested me to show what I'm truly made of, how much I can handle before it's enough, because it's not a question of if, but rather when. I have faced a number of trials that tested my dedication. I have watched as the hard work of the RoboMiners failed and spent hours upon a time searching for what seems to be a non-existent solution. There have been bugs in the code. Motors, servos, and sensors stop functioning. Times when the program crashed, but we continue to trudge through the everlasting hardships that poured down upon us like a waterfall. We tested and tested and tested, tired of knocking the desired results, tired of the errors, until one day, it clicked. This, my friends, is not taught as well by any other extracurricular organization, but by robotics. Persistence is key to success in life. We get nowhere by quitting at everything we do, and I've become aware in the importance of this lesson. Educators say that students of the 21st century need to be able to demonstrate the skills of critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. Through my experiences, I've learned how to critically think and solve problems not only when they happen, but before they do. It's like a game of chess. I always have to be prepared for my next move. Now, collaboration's importance is clear to me. The world runs off of teamwork and our ideas as a group. It's vital that we learn how to work with others because life isn't a one-player game. We are all in it together. I've also learned to communicate better through explaining my ideas. Robotics has increased my confidence, allowing me to step outside my comfort zone and do things I never have imagined. Because of it, I feel more relaxed when I'm given the opportunities to talk to adults, people in powerful positions, and even strangers. Creativity is another really large element. There are no instructions on how to build the best robot, because everything you need is up here. We are only limited by our imagination and its ideas. Really, I've shown up to a comp few competitions, and my team's robot looked completely different from everyone else's. Here's the cool thing, though. Despite the design, it can accomplish the same tasks, just with a slightly tweaked style. Through our hard work and dedication, my team was able to qualify for the super regional competitions in Tacoma and Spokane, Washington. These later led to success at the World Championship in Houston for two years in a row. While there, I met kids from countries all over the world, like Lebanon, Israel, Japan, China, Australia, Mexico, and Canada. 
the various languages spoken were not important. Even though every team was from a different place around the globe, we all had something in common, a central goal and similar journey of dedication. We all understand what it means to be an engineer, and because of such, are able to look beyond our differences. First also created something called gracious professionalism. It basically encourages people in the program to follow the golden rule and treat others how you want to be treated. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it really does have a profound impact at events. It's nice to know that other teams there, or simply put, your competitors, will help in the bleakest of situations to lend spare parts, time, tools, or even just give support verbally. It makes the world seem like a less intimidating place, willing to help with warm, open arms. But most importantly, for me at least, even after I walk away, I will have connected with a number of people. Last year, I met one of my closest friends, Tally. Even after her graduation, she continues to support me and call every week. Robotics is generally something that is thought of as inanimate. A bunch of metal pieces welded together, lacking a pulse. But if you listen closely enough, put your ear right next to the cold metal, you will hear, see, smell, inhale, and feel life in its purest form. The robotics community is vivid and complex with an entire spectrum of emotions. It ranges from that adrenaline pumping, I'm on top of the world feeling, to a mental mindset of determination you never knew existed. Through robotics, something clinical, I have gained some of the most important knowledge, friends, and skill sets I will ever obtain in my life. Through my experiences within this realm of nerdiness, I was shaped into who I am meant to be.